Imagine this. A tornado suddenly forms over the ocean. Nature's fury unleashed in seconds. Lightning cracks the sky, striking water with blinding force. And believe it or not, fish begin to rain from the clouds. What if the ocean could unleash a tornado, or the sky could rain fish? That's no stormy hallucination, it's a water spout. These twisting water towers are among Earth's most captivating sky ocean wonders. Let's dive into 15 fascinating facts that swirl with science, mystery, and a splash of the bizarre. Water spouts are simply tornadoes that form over open water, usually oceans, seas, or large lakes. They're not made of water, but are surrounded by water droplets pulled up by wind. We classify them into two kinds, fair weather water spouts and tornadic water spouts. The first forms in calm conditions. The second is part of severe storms and just as dangerous as land tornadoes. Like tornadoes in the northern hemisphere, most water spouts rotate counterclockwise due to the Coriolis effect. That's planet-sized physics in action. Fair weather water spouts often form when warm water heats the air above, causing rising, spinning columns of moist air. That's why you'll spot them over tropical and subtropical seas. Tornadic water spouts come from supercell thunderstorms and are more dangerous. They can even move ashore and become full tornadoes. The Florida Keys see more water spouts than any other place on Earth, especially in summer. If you're storm chasing, that's the hot spot. Some water spouts travel over 20 miles before dissipating, especially if conditions remain favorable. Imagine watching a swirling tower drift across the whole horizon. While they seem dramatic, most water spouts are short-lived, lasting just 5 to 10 minutes before collapsing. Blink and you might miss one. Despite how they look, water spouts don't suck up ocean water. The funnels made of condensed moisture, not seawater. So no, they're not giant ocean straws. But here's something wild. Fish rain is real. Water spouts have been known to lift small sea creatures like fish or frogs and drop them inland during heavy storms. Imagine walking outside to a sky full of fish. Water spouts may not damage buildings, but they're a threat to low-flying aircraft and small boats thanks to sudden wind shear. Pilots and sailors, beware. They often form close to coastlines. And if a tornadic water spout hits land, it becomes a tornado. Beach day just got a lot more interesting. Modern satellites can sometimes detect water spouts by cloud shadowing and sea surface disturbance patterns. It's high-tech weather watching from space. Water spouts offer scientists a safer way to study vortex dynamics, compared to land tornadoes. Researching them helps us understand the mechanics of spinning storms. Fair weather water spouts love humid summer afternoons, typically forming between 2 p.m. and 4 p.m. when conditions are just right. So next time you're at the beach in midsummer, keep an eye on the horizon. So the next time you're at the beach and spot a twisting tower in the distance, you might just witness nature's ocean tornado at work. Which fact amazed you most? Was it the flying fish or the Florida spout zone? Hit that like button, comment below, and subscribe for more wild weather wonders.